In Chatham County, the storm caused some power lines to go down, some flooding and trees to topple. WJCL 22 News' Brooke Butler joins us now live from Helen Street in Savannah, where one tree narrowly missed a woman's home. But Brooke, that homeowner didn't completely escape damage. Yeah, Shannon, while the trunk landed parallel to her home, a branch did pierce one of her windows, causing glass to shatter. I was actually in the back doing some paperwork and I heard this loud boom. That loud boom was a tree falling outside Joyce Belfield's Savannah home. It was like unbelievable. While most of the tree landed beside her Helen Street house, a large branch did crash through her home's window causing damage. It was glass all over and it knocked over a lamp that I had inside. But Joyce Belfield isn't the only Chatham County homeowner who experienced damage Tuesday. With any high wind event, there's always the possibility of having some down limbs, some down trees. Over in Port Wentworth, a tree smashed through a family's roof. It was a giant whole tree fell on my house and my heart dropped. The tree caused serious damage. The tree is in my kitchen. Mom Julie Crawford says her family now has to find another place to stay due to the damage done to her South Coastal Highway home. Obviously, we can't stay here with no lights and live wires. Both women have had community members help them to temporarily secure their homes, but neither is sure of what comes next. I don't know what the future holds right this moment, but I just know that we're safe and there's people here to help me. I'll know definitively tomorrow, you know, Whose, whose issue it is, whether I gotta call, call tree removal people or what. But again, thank goodness both of those women are safe this evening. Brooke, the danger though isn't quite over just yet. Yeah, Shannon, particularly for drivers, people need to be aware when they're out on the roadways. Obviously, we're still experiencing some wind tonight, so keep your eye out for any debris on the roads. Again, down power lines, and if you see a road closure, do not try to go around it. We really just want you to stay safe and take it slow. Shannon. All right, some great advice. Thanks so much, Brooke, for that live report tonight.